Hello friends, welcome back to the art room with Mr. Eck. Today we're going to be making a very colorful artwork inspired by the artwork of American painter Jim Dine. Who is Jim Dine, you ask? Well, let me show you. So here we have a picture of artist Jim Dine in front of one of his very large paintings. And what I like about Jim Dine's art is that it's messy, but it's like controlled messy. It's, uh, it's like he had fun experiencing the messy freedom of art, but he also controlled it. He just didn't let it uh, run wild. So let's look at a couple of his uh, pieces of art that is going to inspire our project. So this one is called Confetti Heart, and he painted this in 1985. Um, I like it that it's colorful. I like that um, the inside of the heart and the background matches perfectly, but the heart is made by the shading around the heart and inside the heart. So that's very cool. And let's look at one more. This one is from 1969 and it's called Four Hearts. So um, I like the different colors you use. I like the blobs of color. I like that the hearts are very clearly hearts, but he had fun with the texture of the paint and the brush strokes and, and several of the hearts have different, more than one color inside of them. That's, um, that's a key point. So let me show you how we're going to be inspired by his art and make our own Jim Dine style arts, uh, sorry, hearts today. All right, so that's what uh, Mr. Dine's artwork looks like. So here's what we're going to be using today. We're we'll using our trays of tempera cakes, a uh, water bottle, squirter, squirt bottle, and our fingertips. So let's switch over to the camera. I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing. All right, so the first thing we need to do is get our paints wet. That's what the spray bottle is for. So I'm going to take my spray bottle of water and I'm going to mist all my paints. Let that sit for just a minute so I can loosen up the dried paint that makes up the timber cakes. While I'm doing that, I'm going to draw a heart. A big heart that fills up most of my page. Here, uh, by the way, and let me explain what I'm doing. So, you start kind of uh, a little north, north? Uh, <laughs> a little above the middle of your paper. You go up, then you curve around. And come back down like this. There's half a heart. By the way, it's okay that I just smudged some paint on here because we're about to paint on it anyway. Then I'm going to go back up to this middle point. The middle point. I'm going to go up, curve around, and then come down and meet the other line. Like that. And then we have a nice heart shape. So next, we are going to finger paint this heart. But just like Jim Dine's heart, we want to include a variety of colors. Don't just paint a red heart. This is not necessarily a Valentine's Day card. I guess you could do this for a Valentine's Day card, but uh, regardless, you want to use a lot of different colors. The more colors, the better, and with the background as well. And just to, to put a little extra art teacher spin on this, I think I'm going to focus most of inside the heart will be warm colors, and most of the background, the area around my heart, is going to be cool colors. If you don't remember what those are, then warm colors are yellow, orange, and red. Cool colors are green, purple, and blue. So when you do that, warm colors kind of jump out at you. So that's why I want the heart, which is the subject of our artwork, to jump out and be the most, uh, the, the first thing that people notice when they see this artwork. So I'm going to do warm colors in the inside the heart, cool colors outside. I may do a little bit of cool on the inside just to add another uh, color to it, but my my color theme is going to be warm inside, cool outside. And uh, I'm going to do the rest of this time lapse, and let's see how it turns out.
And here's our finished uh, Jim Dine heart painting example. I think it turned out very pretty, and uh, it was it was pretty fun painting with my fingers. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is you're going to need a paper towel um, because you don't want to mix up your colors uh, all over the place in your paint tray. And also, when I was done painting my warm colors, I had warm colors all over my finger, so I, I sprayed my finger really well with the, the spray bottle, and then I cleaned it off before I started uh, painting the background with the cool colors. So that's our project. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you liked learning about Jim Dine. I know I sure did. I'll see you guys next time in the art room.